there is no other feeling like letting go. Um, I don't like using the word hate anymore because it takes too much power away from myself and it brings puts the power in the other person's hands. Uh, like say if you get cut off in traffic or something or someone comes across you wrong, try not reacting negatively and see what happens. It's incredible. Because I used to react negatively to all that stuff and get angry and it would just ruin my whole day, you know? And uh, now I, uh, I, I'm aware, more aware of the present, right? What's coming in my mind, through my, through my mind, you know, emotions, my feelings. And I, um, I now uh, force myself to uh, not react negatively. I don't, if someone texts me or, and it comes across wrong or uh, says something comes across wrong, I just kill them with kindness and love. Um, I don't care who it is. Um, because it's better off doing that uh, and not messing my, you know, my uh, drive in life and my uh, love for life up. As I'm sure a lot of you can understand where I'm coming from. When we give someone the power of, uh, you know, uh, hate and arguing with them all the time or arguing with them at all, when we can just walk away, we give them a lot of power. And... Uh, if we take it away from ourselves and we, it makes it brings on depression uh, and you know feelings of uh, being lost and stuff and this is life you know whatever you put your mind to you can do um, a lot of people um, feel limited a lot of times I did for years on what you can do in life but you know just like me I you know the passion to help others right now is starting a YouTube channel um, because uh, if I can, if I can uh, help fix myself, I can. Uh, I think I can give advice and help just about anybody out there because I experience about every type of loss in life you can experience, just about. But that doesn't mean I'm better or more important than anybody. It just means that I think I can help, and that's what I want to do. Um, if you're feeling down and depressed and stuff, try and go. You know, uh, or if you're sitting around the house, try to. Be more aware of what your thoughts are. If you're thinking uh, about stuff negatively, or if you're giving, the, um, if you're thinking about old memories of maybe how people treated you, and you, someone treated you in an old relationship, maybe it was abuse, and that's wrong. Um, the best way is really talk about it, maybe, and let loose. Though, try to let loose of that anger in your mind. Try to forgive uh, yourself forgive that person and you'll feel the power like no other um, you'll get the love back for life and the desire for life back like I did um, I have uh, I got like 12 lives you know um, I used to get angry really easily um, when I was younger especially as a hothead um, but then when I did that I gave the power to the other person and the rest of the day I wore that anger so what I'm trying to say to you is, if you um, ignore people's anger or, or their, if someone has attitude towards you um, and you uh, adjust the frequency on how you think, then you take the power away from them and you give yourself the mind power and you'll feel so much better. I mean, and there's nothing like to uh, apologizing to someone if you think, if you, you did something wrong, uh, even years ago. I started doing that, and there was no feeling like no other. Instead of walking down with my head, walking to him, or around him with my head down, trying to, you know, get around him uh, without them seeing me, to go up to him and apologize, it's a powerful feeling, and people respect it. And I think a big problem, though, is people beating on themselves out there. I did it. Um, doesn't matter how old you are, if you're. 18, 20, 21, uh, 25, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, but it's never too late. Uh, it's never too late to change our mind process and how we think. Because the majority of us are, uh, we're, we're set to wake up in the past every time we wake up in the morning. And uh, we hold on to those old emotions of depression we've been in or post-trauma that we've been through. And it's, um, we can change that and we can reset our minds to wake up feeling abundant and happy. And it, it first starts with getting out of your own head, getting out, seeing the beauty in life, seeing the beauty in others, and you'll see the beauty in yourself. If you just uh, give it a try 
and try to let loose. Let the negative emotions come in. If they're in your head, let them pass out. You know, as, you know, as visitors, as your guests, just stop thinking about it, you know? Just try to become, you know, when you were all, like you were young kids, how we were more present in the moment. That's where the, like meditation comes in and stuff. It's really, you know, it's really, it helps a lot. You know, my mind used to race constantly until I started learning uh, mindfulness and um, how to keep negative thoughts out of my mind from holding me back in life because it was holding me back for years and I was sitting around the house lost not knowing what to do instead of being out enjoying the beautiful weather or set going you know reach, uh, reaching my goals once you get the anger out of yourself your love for life and passion and your goals for life will come right back um, if you're if you if you feel like you don't want to be on this earth anymore or whatever Try, you know, watching these videos and, you know, the meditation stuff. And if you let go of the anger out of your head, you forgive that person, you're going to feel so much better. Don't give people the power of hating them. Just say the word dislike or, you know, I have people that I don't like, but I no longer say, well, give them the power of hating them or even say, because it takes too much my energy in my mind and my happiness away and uh, to be able to accomplish the things I want to accomplish in life. And it held me back for years. And you know, it wasn't until recent, until I was able to get over those past emotions and fears and to uh, you know, manifest a new life for myself of happiness and to stay in the moment, you know, to love, not hate, right? And, um, and don't worry about your likes and stuff, I, you know, on Facebook, social media and stuff. It's designed to make people feel like they're gonna have, you know, like, you know, it gives people an instant, uh, it's, it's, it's a fact that it gives people an instant rush when they see they're getting liked and getting attention on social media. Try putting the fold down, you know, try taking a break from it. You'll feel great, you'll feel great. Remember, anything you put your mind to in this life, you can accomplish, anything. It's all up in your head, it's all how you think. Fake it till you make it. It's all how you think. Think positive. Tell yourself you can do it. Keep practicing it. And keep the resentment and the anger even towards yourself out of your head. The best thing is to stay in the present. Try to stay in the past. Leave the past in the past. You know, like the past is for exes, the past is for, you know, the saying goes. Try to stay out of the past when it comes to everything for the most part, especially negative thoughts. Because you're better than you think you are. And. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So my name's uh, Derek Nickerson. Uh, my email is DerekNickerson34 at gmail.com. You please write to me, like, subscribe. That would be great. I'm going to keep writing these. But everyone out there, keep staying positive. Stay out of your head. You're better than you think you are. Get out of that head and stop beating yourself up. And you'll feel a lot better. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.